No dough for Elon Musk. I'm your host, Chris Hobson, and this is an IRL Media News Hot Take. Let's get into it. That's what Delaware State Chancellery Court Chancellor Kathleen McCormick decided when she ruled against Elon Musk and the Tesla's board in a 2028 pay package that helped to make Tesla CEO Elon Musk one of the richest people in the world. In her ruling, she said that Elon Musk and the Tesla board bore the burden of providing that the compensation plan was fair, and they failed to meet that burden. And we're talking about some serious money here, people. The Tesla board in 2028 awarded Elon Musk an insane $55.8 billion pay package in a series of 12 tranches of stock options, which told a $303 million split-adjusted stock options with a sweetheart deal allowing him to exercise those stock options at just $23.34 a share when Tesla stock was trading around a range of $18 to $20 a share. Like I said, a sweetheart deal. Now that compensation package has been ruled null and void. How did Tesla's board justify awarding Elon Musk this insane compensation package? They argued that Tesla's market cap was valued at $54 billion at the time of the pay package was approved. But as of today, it's risen to $607 billion, representing a gain of more than 1,000% in large part thanks to Elon Musk, they argued. How do we get here in the first place? Well, Elon Musk notoriously only receives $1 a year as salary from Tesla, and instead has opted to receive stock options as his form of compensation. After the Tesla board awarded Elon Musk the biggest compensation package in the history of public traded companies, a group of shareholders sued, arguing that the pay package of stock options was excessive, and that the directors of Tesla's board were not truly independent, and were too close to Elon Musk to protect shareholders' interests, according to an article on CNN. You see, those 12 separate tranches of stock options really weren't stretch performance goals, as the company told shareholders. Attorneys for the shareholders, who sued, argued that those milestones were essentially the same as the company's internal growth projections and were shared with banks and rating agencies. So what's next? I'm guessing the answer is an appeal, followed by another appeal that will be tied up endlessly in court for years because both Tesla and Elon Musk can afford to fight this for seemingly ever. In a poll on his X platform, Elon Musk asked people whether he should change where the company is registered from Delaware to the state of Texas. His self-selected audience overwhelmingly picked Texas, obviously. As a Tesla shareholder, I honestly think they should keep their registration in the state of Delaware. The state of Delaware has one of the highest ratings for protecting shareholders, but that doesn't look to be like what Elon Musk actually wants out of this. He wants to be a czar of all of his companies and do whatever he wants, irregardless of what shareholders want. If you like this video, do me a solid and smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks. I'm your host, Chris Thompson, and this has been an IRL Media News Hot Take.